On New Brunswick's northeast coast, peatlands have blanketed these landscapes for thousands of years. These dense and mucky wetlands are thick with partially decomposed vegetation, capturing vast amounts of carbon. Yeah, so it's very, uh, it's spongy, the ground. You really sink in. This nutrient-rich moss is peat, and it's everywhere on the Acadian Peninsula. It's used as a starter for tomatoes, houseplants, even the greens on golf courses. But there's been so much rain this summer that producers have barely been able to harvest it. And I mentioned earlier, see the top part grows, it's nice and green, and the bottom part is what accumulates over the, over the centuries, actually. The organic soil in the bog is a big business in this region, generating $250 million per year. The industry directly employs about 2,000 people. You're looking at the very top, maybe one centimeter uh, top layer that will be dried by the sun and the wind. That is harvested, put in, uh, in storage on the field and then uh, truck into the uh, processing plant for further processing. You'll have just a little section that will be uh, partially, partially drained uh, for the uh, to be able to harvest the peat afterwards. The impact of poor weather is being felt here in Rexton, where production has plummeted to about 30 to 40 percent of a typical year. That means fewer hours for the dozens of people who make a living in the bog. There's going to be a, a shortage in uh, different markets, um, you know, depending on uh, where the peat is going. It's not a very well-known uh, industry, but we have a pretty good impact into, uh, into the New Brunswick economy. The 240 hectare bog is normally lined with piles of peat to process, but this fall, it's nearly empty. It's been a very difficult season for all the producers and uh, almost everywhere in Canada. We're heading a little bit off the beaten path here, going to check out one of the first harvested bogs in New Brunswick's peat moss industry. So where we're standing here, it, it looks solid but it's actually a bog and it's it's mostly water right mostly water yeah holds all kinds of water and I'll, I'll 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 squeeze it just to show you how much water comes out of there so that's one property of the sphagnum moss sphagnum peat that we get in a bog and that is considered high quality horticultural peat that uh, we have here how important are weather conditions for being able to harvest peat? Uh, I would say it is condition number one for harvesting peat. If we look at uh, the summer of 23, when we had rain events after rain events after rain events, and the sites did not have time to dry enough, that there was another rain event. So that caused a major impact on the peat harvesting industry. Producers expect the tough season will mean a shortage for commercial and retail markets. But while peat could be harder to find, growers have few alternatives to turn to, leaving New Brunswick's largely untapped peatlands ripe with potential. <laughs>